Since his reappointment as the Minister of Transport, this will be Mr. Chibike Amechi's first major engagement with key players in the maritime sector. One of the high points from the minister's introductory note is his announcement of a $5.3 billion as mobilization for the standard gauge rail project from Ibadan to Kano. We got approvals to complete the $5.3 billion railway from Ibadan to Kano. We've also applied for funding to commence the coastal rail from Potako to Wari as a segment and that segment from Benin to Onisha. In his company is the Minister of State for Transport, Ms. Bemisola Saraki, whom Mr. Amechi says will be spearheading the maritime sector affairs. Having this sort of um, stakeholders conference helps in creating that synergy. However, I feel it has to be more regular. Uh, has to be um, rather than once in a while where we all come and meet and, and then leave. Concerns were raised from the audience, some of which range from maritime security to the cost of doing business, infrastructure and the single window program of government. We have to look at what is our dual time of cargo. We have to look at what kind of uh, equipments do a, a, a terminal has. We have to look at the processes and procedures. Mostly they will do more on security and we're already focusing on security. And so we, 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 deliver, we deliver on that. We are listening to them. After six months to one year, we'll come back to Mega and say, have we been able to achieve those things you wanted us to achieve? Are there new things you want us to do? We will be coming out later on with a program of what we're trying to achieve within the next four years for it to tie in to the synergy with what the president's trying to achieve. This dialogue session has served its purpose of setting one of the critical agenda for President Muhammad Buhari, one that would be expected to result in policy reforms in Nigeria's if Belt and Road Initiatives. First time. Temple Ashaju, Channel Television News.